we're highlighting all the new features found on the Bernina 790 Pro. Now remember, we do have all the video tutorials on the Bernina 790 Plus, which is most of this machine, but we are taking just those few extra items to really show you all the new possibilities on the newest model. Hi, I'm Sarah from SewingMastery.com and you can find over 140 videos on the Bernina 790 Plus to help you master the model that is the 790 Pro. Here we're gonna talk about the triple stitch function. Now I have used the triple stitch function on other models, but now it's right at my fingertips here. And on the Stitching Cosmos online course, that is your advanced course of working with sewing functions and accessory feet to really help you master this machine. We have used this to create a bolder looking stitch with just a touch. So many of the stitches in this machine you can select and they are just a single run of the design, especially decorative stitches and such. But if that design isn't as bold as you want. Traditionally, you need to add a thicker thread. Now you need a top stitch needle. Maybe now you have to adjust tensions to get everything to be that stronger look. Now you can just select a stitch. So this block is using one of the sideways motion stitches where we've added the triple stitch. And this one is always one of my go-to stitches. It's just fun, but it definitely looks more bold when we triple the stitch. So let's go into the machine and I'm gonna show you how we can take the stitch, which looks okay, and make it look great. I'm also gonna show you, just for fun, a little reminder that you can take any stitch and send it in any direction of the compass you want it to stitch. So if you wanted this to go in a 45 degree angle, you can have it go in the direction you want it to go. So we're gonna kind of cover a few extra functions in this video. Do make sure that if you are watching our videos, you need to click like after you've watched them that says thank you for the information. And many of you are not subscribed to our YouTube channel. So why don't you hop down and click that subscribe button as well. It costs you nothing but means so much to me and I can keep making videos for you for free going forward. This triple stitch function is gonna be found in the I for information and it's this three rows of stitches parallel to each other right here. So with a touch, it will immediately triple the stitch you have on the screen. Now, if we do go to another stitch, you will find that you will need to go into the eye and triple that one as well. So it's not like you can add this to all the stitches, you pick the stitch, then add it to it. I did find a few stitches that this was not an option for, but majority it is. So as you start to stitch, you will find that instead of a okay stitch, you're gonna find a much bolder looking stitch without having to upgrade your thread choice. So this is a stitch that I was showing you that is an easy go-to stitch. You see it just stitches out as a single line. And it's also a very quick to stitch decorative selection because it is a single line. But when you go to triple it, it does take a little longer, but totally worth it. Now, another little trick, I'm gonna do a side note here, is sometimes you and I will write down a stitch number so we remember it. Here is a trick. If you've actually stitched it, it will be remembered. And what we're talking about is right here where the little pages are at the end of this row. This is your remembering of the last 15 stitches you sewed. Now you actually have to step on the foot control or the button to run the stitch to actually have it activate. By activating it or stitching it, it puts it into the history of the machine. So tomorrow, if you haven't stitched a ton of other stitches, you will find that that stitch is right there. So you don't have to remember, oh, that was my stitch number 621. It will probably be in your history. Do keep in mind that if you sew a straight stitch and a straight stitch and a straight stitch, it doesn't load these up with straight stitches, but until you start a new stitch. So I'm re recalling, I did a fun little um, stitch with the cocktail glasses I found here. I was doing my headbands with this stretch stitch 
for a recent project and just recently I, the last two stitches are right here in my history. Great way to remember a stitch without having to write it down and it's right there at your fingertips. Okay, so I've picked the stitch. It's showing in my stitch out area. Let's triple it and let's see how it compares. You can immediately see the difference in having the stitches tripled, and now you know why I'd get very excited about this function. Let's go ahead and pick the sideways motion stitch that is also a single line, and let's see what it looks like tripled up. Oh, surprise! This is a stitch that, though the triple stitch is not active right at my fingertips, I'm going to show you the way you can turn this into a triple stitch. So I guess, yes, they all can be tripled, but there might be two different ways to actually go about doing it. To triple it the way I originally did it anyway was to use the stitch creator. So we are going to go into the pencil with this stitch on screen. I need to highlight the whole entire stitch so it's blue and you'll see that same tripling option right here to the side. You'll see it automatically looks bolder on screen than when it wasn't selected. See the difference? And now when you do the check mark, we'll be able to stitch this out as we had planned. Boy, you really can see that it pops when you triple a stitch. Now, if you're getting some unbalance, you can always go into the balance to balance the stitch and get it to turn out perfect. We also see that foot 40 is the recommended foot, and that would be one that you would want to purchase if you're doing a lot more of these stitches. But the balance should kind of take you on the direction you want to go. I did mention I'd show you some directional options because in the eye for information, we have have this feature here that's a picture of a presser foot. I always, for some reason, think it is an R in the middle. But what this does is that it is the multi-directional sewing like a compass. So you can change the direction of the stitch that you've selected by using the knobs to turn it and get all the angles. Or you can come here, dial it in, or you can even just touch the directions you want it to stitch. So any of those compass directions are immediately available for you to stitch in that direction. So just for fun, if we want to stitch and see how this looks, again, we could triple this, which it might already be tripled. It is tripled, so we'll see what this looks like sewing in the diagonal on a much bolder look. So if these functions look like something you want to explore more, that is where our Stitching Cosmos online course would be a perfect place for you to jump off and start to play with even further. You're going to find that you will be using your machine so much more when you become comfortable with the functions and features built into your beautiful Bernina 790 Pro. We've got free videos just waiting for you to click on and preview to see if the Stitching Cosmos course is right for you. Remember, check out the complete playlist of all the Bernina 790 video tutorials so you can master this machine inside and out.